understand me? Ooh, bloodline. Do you understand me? Tangaloa. Take him out. Okay? Ooh, we got the wise man. I like this new bloodline stuff. Yep. There's a lot of people that don't like it. I actually like it. I've been doing a lot of thinking about this. Especially what they've done with Tama Tonga. It's been great. About how I can better serve you while you're in charge. And with Roman as our tribal chief, there was a lot of violence in the bloodline. But that was to preserve the family, to preserve everything that the bloodline was working for. They're doing a good job. Before, with Gorillas of Destiny being said threats. Yes to an act of violence. It, th there was a lot of counsel from the wise man. I see. We want Roman. Some very violent men into the bloodline. And all I see are random acts of violence. But I don't see any strategy at all. Ooh. Solo, the strategy has to be that when Roman comes back, we have Cody Rhodes in check. I love how, like, I love the expressions on we Solo's got Cody face. Rhodes in check. And he doesn't even know it. Yep, The Rock is definitely behind this whole thing with the bloodline. All due respect. Definitely. Solo is playing the long game. I like it. Uh oh. I don't think Solo is happy about that. You better go out there and fix this. Now. Damn. Solo expects the Paul Heyman's got to fix everything. But that's interesting, though. We have Cody in sight. I think The Rock is definitely... I think the um, final boss is behind the new bloodline. I really think so. Because right now, Solo's focused on Randy and Kevin. So this is definitely pretty interesting, what's going to happen. Uh-oh, KO with the mic. Here we go. But yeah, Solo, no strategy. Thank you. I think Solo versus Last Roman is going to be such a good match at SummerSlam. Down. And uh, I went all the way to Saudi Arabia to do it because I wanted to make sure that I had Randy Orton's back. Because over the last few months, Randy Orton actually scratched that. Over the last few years, Randy Orton has had my back. And I wanted to make sure that Solo and his crew weren't gonna ruin Randy's chances at becoming King of the Ring now. Randy isn't king of the ring but we all saw what happened in that match he such really a stupid lose. fucking finish so stupid and uh while randy is not here tonight he's at home recuperating i do know like how do you have gunter like tap and pass out and every opponent and then he just wins on a controversial Solo pin and his little crew so i figured i would be here too Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the wise man. This is definitely going to be interesting. Because I feel like Kevin Owens, he sees what's happening with Paul Heyman. So, I could definitely see him, like, swaying him in Ladies a different direction. and gentlemen, my name is it's Paul Heyman. I have served for almost four years as special counsel and the wise man to your tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Man, the fans want him back. I can't wait to see that massive baby face pop. 
I serve as the wise No big dog. We don't need big dogs. For Solo and the Bloodline. It is within that Boo. Kevin Owens, that I come out here tonight to talk to you, man to man, professional to professional, father to father, as I think... I don't think KO wants to hear it. ...a mutual interest at the moment that I, I, I'm hoping I can serve... Paul, just get in the ring and get to the point. Man, I just said get in the ring. And that's the thing, like, everybody sees what's happening, but because of all the dirty shit Paul has done, nobody's helping him. I think Paul Heyman wants him back, too. I don't think there is a person in this arena tonight that wants Roman here more than, more than I do. And, and here's why. I love this dynamic with Solo. You, you, you keep Tama and calling Tanya. out Solo's name. And, you know, Roman Reigns had and has great respect for you and anything that you went through with Roman Reigns was because of how much he respected you and admired you and dare I say acknowledged you as a true threat to his championship KO is definitely one of his bigger threats Solo has no respect for you and he is recruiting these criminals into the bloodline, we, Roman Reigns and I, turned down every new member of the bloodline because we did background checks on them. We didn't want these people in the bloodline representing the bloodline. These are the people that you're picking a fight with, Kevin. The final boss the recruited that them. Antagonizing. These, these are the people that. The final boss is behind they, all of this. They're not even people. They're, they're just bloodthirsty, sadistic thugs. They're not looking for a reason to take you out. They're looking for any excuse to take you out. And that's bad for WWE. I like you in WWE. They love you in WWE. Paul Heyman, you need to be careful here. You're playing with fire. Forget you fire, you're playing with a fucking explosion. Calling out Solo's name. They're going to do something really bad about it. I am asking you, I'm pleading with you, Kevin Owens, I'm begging you. This is storytelling at its finest. Off the bloodline, please. Kevin Owens ain't gonna back down. That's the thing about him. Fight Owens, fight. Are you really out here? He doesn't have strategy yeah, either. Trying to help me. Yes. Him and really? Solo are very alike. Yes. What in the last few years has made you believe that I would ever, ever put any trust into anything that comes out of your mouth, huh? Yep, it's all the shit he's done I'm in the past. For this act. You think I don't know that this is all you? You're pulling the strings? Nope. This is your MO. This is what you do. Nope. You went from Brock uh -uh. to Roman, and now Roman lost the title. Who's your next cash cow? Who's the next one that can keep you relevant? Well, it's Solo. That I'm is far from the it. truth. And I, I, I have that figured out, but I don't know what this little act is about. What are you trying to do? You're trying to make sure everybody fears them? You're trying to still fear Guess what? The I final boss is behind the it. Line He's gotta years, be. And they gave me everything they had. They threw me off of high things. They handcuffed me with those ropes, super kicked me 20 times. They hit me with a golf cart. And I am still standing right here. And I had a great time.
Paul Heyman. Oh my but goodness. That, that was the bloodline. That was Roman Reigns and Jay and Jimmy Uso. Guys that I too respect. That solo and the two guys. That's not the bloodline. That's just solo and two guys. I don't want to know. I don't care to know. And nobody wants here. Love the intensity. That I'm going to stop fighting them. Hell no. I will keep fighting them. In fact, I will do everything I can to get them the hell out of my world. And this is my world. That is how you fucking leave a statement. And as far as your help goes, I don't want it. And I don't need it. Wow, this is definitely one of Kevin Owens' best Maybe promos. Maybe I'm not trying to help you. Maybe I'm just trying to save you. You ever think about that? Huh? You ever think of that? Maybe, just maybe, I bet your kids, huh? You've met my kids, I've met your kids, and maybe, just maybe, what? A man can't redeem himself after all these years? How many times have you redeemed yourself? But me, oh no, let's not think that Paul Heyman can ever redeem himself. Not Paul Heyman! Wow. Not Paul Heyman! He can never redeem himself! Why won't you understand what you are up against with these thugs? Why won't you understand what I'm trying to do for you right now? I am a freaking Hall of Fame wise man! But no! Let's not listen to the Hall of Fame wise man! No! Let's just sit here and think I have some future! I have some vision for the future of Solo taking over the entire bloodline! Why won't anybody listen to me? This is such an incredible promo. This is storytelling. Where has this been on WWE TV the last like four to eight weeks since Mania? Wow. That was incredible. We definitely gained so much more information from that one segment right there. I honestly don't know if I agree with that assessment, Wade. Heyman looked downright terrified of these. I really, I will say, Tama Tonga and um, Tonga Loa, I love the gear. Ooh, Street Profits! Let's go! We gotta get more people against them. I like it. But man, I love the fear Paul Heyman is showing. If there's anybody out there that could definitely sell fear, it's Heyman. This is fantastic. This is so good. Man, I wouldn't mind seeing um, Loa and... Um, Tonga, I wouldn't mind seeing them face Street Profits. That'd be a good match. Damn, that was clean, too. That was clean. But one... Wow, that segment. My hat goes off to them. Paul Heyman, Kevin Owens. Fantastic.